In order to create a better future for all on our planet, we must take action. But the question is where and how? To answer this, here is the most important environmental issue in 2022, followed by suggestions on how we all can support and contribute to making a difference for the environment. Welcome, you're tuning into A Better Future. We're not sure if you've heard about it, but one of the most important environmental issues we have in 2022 is a man-made disaster connected to humans killing off the components of life on which we depend. And by doing so, we're reducing the biodiversity on our planet. So let's have a look on why this is the most important environmental issue in 2022. Biodiversity is short for biological diversity and means the variety of species on this planet. A large biodiversity means that the variety of life forms on this planet is large, which is beneficial for sustaining our ecosystems which maintain life. The life forms include the smallest of organisms to the biggest of whales. And the ecosystems produce oxygen, regulate the climate, produce food and ensure that life on this planet continues. Because all life forms on Earth depends on each other to survive. But not us humans, right? We can get by on our own. Well, wrong. Our life depends on food from both land and sea. But we have two naughty habits of overfishing and deforestation, which is depleting the ocean and bear scraping our forests. Research shows that we have severely affected more than 75% of Earth's land area and about 66% of the ocean. We now cause an abnormally high extinction rate of species. We do know that the rate now is 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than the natural rate. And the United Nations estimate that about 40,000 species are in risk of extinction in the coming decades. This kind of means that we harm the ecosystems which produce life on our Earth. Great, so life on this planet is doomed because of us. Well, not really. Thankfully, the United Nations, which more or less is the whole world, have agreed on two sustainable development goals which combat this. Sustainable development goal number 14, life below water, and sustainable development goal number 15, life on land. Number 14, life below water, means to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, sea and marine resources for sustainable development. Which kind of means to fish in more sustainable matters, which doesn't harm the fish habitats, but also to stop polluting the ocean, which suffocates the life in it. Number 15, life on land, means to protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Whew, that's a mouthful. Or in short, protect the wildlife and don't cut down and burn the forest, which in many cases creates deserts. The world is taking action to combat climate change, biodiversity loss and to preserve our beautiful planet. We see initiatives to protect and preserve habitats in both the ocean and on land. Countries are taking action towards the Agenda 2030, where we have stated that we must protect 30% of all land and oceans by 2030. This has about 100 countries committing to ending and reversing deforestation, including countries like Indonesia, which is the world's largest exporter of palm oil, and Brazil, as you mentioned, with where the Amazon is experiencing a lot of deforestation there. Protecting 30% is crucial for allowing the nature to regrow and replenish. If not, we rapidly continue overusing the resources on this planet, slowly draining and ending life on Earth. So, how do we change this? Well, it starts with you. Or, as Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. So here's a change you can make to combat the loss of biodiversity. And the change is to put your money where your mouth is. And that means to consume more responsibly. Because first of all, do you have to buy new stuff? And if that's really the case, can you perhaps buy second hand or a more environmentally friendly product? And if you buy new stuff, do you need the packaging, the bag, the extra napkins? Ask for less. Because most often, this is just provided to us as a quote-unquote value-adding service. 
And finally, when it comes to food, can you eat less meat and less fish? Because the climate impact on eating this is really high. All in all, it comes down to changing our behavior. Because the world is driven by money. Wherever there's a demand, there will be a supply. The Black Friday frenzy, an estimated 116 million shoppers hitting the stores. So if we as a collective demand less products and less unsustainable options and opt for the sustainable options, then the producers and the economy will change into that. When we change our consumer behavior and mindset, then we make jet setting in private planes and spending money on unnecessary stuff unpopular and frowned upon. Okay, so now I've changed and all is good, right? Well, not really. Unfortunately, the force of capitalism is so strong and human behavior, especially in group, is hard to change. That's why it's also beneficial to drive political change to protect nature, ban harmful business practice, and create incentives for business to act more sustainable. But how? Hmm. The problem appears to be unsolvable. Maybe we could run some computer simulations. There are too many variables it would take forever. We've got to be missing something. Well, we suggest two alternatives. Number one, the website and app, we don't have time. This is a way to sporadically initiate change on something you think is important. Here, users can create their own climate review of a company, organization, or leader. Other users can then endorse this review, and if enough users endorse it, then it will gain more attention and eventually be sent to the concern with all endorsements. This is a great way to pull attention to important matters. Number two, sign petitions which combat unsustainable ocean activity and deforestation. For instance, Greenpeace has an important one called Protect the Oceans Petition. You can find the link in the description below. It's fast and easy to sign. So, how will you look back at and remember yourself in this time in history? As someone who complained? Or as someone who actually made an effort to contribute to a better future? Be the change you want to see in the world, because together we will make a difference.